word. Let me tell you something. Hoping is wishing. Trusting is knowing. When you trust and have faith in source energy, in God, however you identify, you are going to see what I call magic happen in your life. Greetings, beautiful ones. How you doing? Good? Good. Fran here, back with another video. So, if you are part of Fran's fam, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Again, my name is Fran. I am known as the Miracle Manifester. And around here, we are raising consciousness and changing mindsets one video at a time. So if manifestation and changing your life and connecting spirituality with physical reality is your thing, hang around. You're going to love it here. All right. So recently, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, right? And we were talking about God and manifestation, right? And she's into the scientific parts of manifestation. If you've been around here for a while, you know that everything that I do, I do it from a spiritual standpoint, from a God standpoint. I include God in it. To me, God is the ultimate manifester. I mean, you really just cannot get around it, but some people try. Anyway, we were having this conversation and I had been reading one of my favorite books because you guys know I'm always reading too, right? I love to align spirituality with scientific thought or with reality thought because there's really no way around creating that you can do it without the infinite source of abundance or source energy. And uh, what I realized through this conversation that I was having with her that she didn't realize until the end is that we're talking about the same thing. So let me, let me just read this to you really quick and then we're going to jump into it, right? This book from the chapter Prosperity says, Men come into the world financed by God. We have all that we desire and all that we require is already on our pathway. The supply is released through faith and through the spoken word. Okay, so our supply of everything that we need in this life, in this physical life, in this reality, everything that we need to attract, everything that we need to call in, everything that we need, we already have. It's already on our pathway. God has already provided, right, everything that we need. The thing is, how do we believe and what do we say? Everything that was created that we see now in the physical reality, but everything that God created was created through his spoken word. Nobody creates something without speaking it into existence first. The car was spoken to existence. The airplane was spoken to existence. And both of those people the Wright brothers and Henry Ford were both doubted. People did not believe that they could do this, right? People were like, yeah, right, okay, whatever. This is not going to happen. But they had faith in the vision that they had, right? So they had tapped into what was already there, which is the desire. The desire to create and have anything in our lives is given to us by the infinite source of of abundance, the infinite source energy, which is God, right? So regardless of whether you call it the universe, your higher source, your higher power, whatever you want to call it, it's God. So ultimately, whether you're looking at it from a scientific standpoint or a spiritual standpoint, it's the same thing. We're all talking about God. And what I have noticed recently is that a lot of thought leaders and thought teachers and manifestation coaches now are talking more about God, which uh, I've never stopped. I, I will never stop. Just let me put that out there. Uh, because they're understanding that that is the source of abundance. I think that a lot of times, honestly, y'all, people try to leave the word God out of it because they don't want to 
upset or offend people. And I understand that because we all believe differently. But ultimately, it is your faith, right? It is your faith in the higher wisdom, the infinite source of abundance, the infinite wisdom, source energy, that is going to bring forth what you're asking for. Now, I'm going to give you some examples. In the Law of Attraction, Abraham Hicks talks about source energy, higher source. Neville Goddard just talked about God. He was just like, yeah, it's God. It, it, it's God. Right? Watch Waddles. Yeah, it, it's God. Reverend Ike, we know, anytime he talks about manifesting or anything about having abundance and prosperity in your life, it was God, right? You have got to understand that all things flow from one source. You can manifest it, you can create it, and you can have it, but it takes two things first. Faith and your spoken word. If you don't have faith in what you are trying to draw into your physical existence, it's probably just not going to happen because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Right? We know that. We know that all of our needs are supplied according to God's riches and glory. Therefore, the only time that there is an unlimited or limitless, I mean to say, supply, meaning a lack thereof, is if we believe that there's a lack. If we don't have faith in what we're asking for and we're trying to do all these things that were taught by spiritual teachers like myself, new thought leaders, manifesting teachers, and it's still not working, you have to go back and look at you. I tell every one of my clients, all of my students, if something is not working, when you have done everything that you should do, it's because there is something either subconsciously or consciously, because a lot of times we know, right? A lot of times we will be using our spoken words. Let's just say we're affirming something. But then in our minds, we're like, I, don't, I really don't believe it. I don't know why I'm saying this every morning. Or I don't know why I'm doing this every day because I really don't believe it. But you're hoping, right? You're hoping that something's going to come out of those affirmations and that spoken word. Let me tell you something. Hoping is wishing. Trusting is knowing. When you trust and have faith and source energy in God, however you identify, you are going to see what I call magic happen in your life. I believe that we have the ability to tap into miraculous, magical miracles with our faith and with our spoken word. All of those things are manifesting. You can manifest anything that you truly believe that you can have, even if that's winning the Powerball. If you truly have faith that you're going to win the Powerball, you're probably going to win. When doubt comes in on anything that you're trying to manifest, I want you to ask yourself this question. Why not me? Why can't it happen to me? Why, why can't it be me? It, it, it's going to be someone. It's happening to people all around me. Why wouldn't it happen to me? And once you get comfortable with being in the flow of allowing once you get comfortable with understanding that God is your source and he wants you to have it, it says that everything that we need is 
already provided. It's already on our pathway. We tap into it with our faith and our spoken word. It also says, if thou can believeth that all things are possible, let me put that in simple language for y'all and break it down. If you can believe that what you are asking for is possible, if you can see it, if you can feel it, if you vibrate with it and it makes you feel good and you're in alignment with it, let me tell you, it is going to show up for you. Don't be fooled by believing that I could just wish it into existence. I could just hope for it to happen. Faith is the substance of things unseen. Faith is the substance of things unseen. Faith is the substance of things unseen. If you desire it, the way it's already made for you to have it. God will make a way out of no way. Listen, if he can make water in the desert, why can't he fix your problems? Why can't he manifest what you truly believe he can? This is one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons I created God's promises. And we are working on part two of God's promises. Because when you know what you're promised, when you know what your divine inheritance is, when you know that God wants you to have it, and you have it written in front of you, you can read it, you can see it, you know it to be true, it gives you this supernatural power, this power of faith that says, I don't care what you're talking about. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. And I don't care what you're talking about. Because it's written. The laws are already written. And they're not going to change. The laws of the universe are already written. And believe it or not, science and spirituality go hand in hand. And they are married. And a lot of major scientists now are realizing that. Look around you. Look at how the language is changing. Look at how people who never used to talk about God talk about God now. It's changing. The lights are coming on. But again, if you stick around here, your lights are always going to be on. And you're going to have the life that you desire. Alright y'all, let me know what you think about this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Let me know where you're from so I can shout you out. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.